This is a video to show you the construction of a welt side pocket. For this demonstration I have marked the different seam allowances 2.5cm, 1cm, 2.5cm, 1cm, 1.5cm, 1cm, 1.5, 2.5 because that goes to the side seam. So a 1cm seam 1.5 through all layers. This is the top pocket bag, 1cm, 2.5 at the side seam and 1.5cm at the top and sides. Take your welt piece and fold it in half lengthways. Place it with right sides together on the opening of the front pocket opening. So a one centimetre seam allowance through all layers from one centimetre from the end of the pocket. Clip carefully into the corners, taking care not to cut the stitching. Press your welt to the wrong side of the garment so that the seam allowance is facing to the seam and then fold the sides back so that the welt can hang over the edge. Turn it over. From the right side you want to top stitch all the way around the welt. Use the foot as a guide so that you get your stitching nice and straight. At the corner, put the needle down, lift the foot and turn your work. This will give a neat corner. Needle down and turn. It's easy to trim the threads as you go. Now put the top pocket bag on so that the inside of the pocket bag is to the seam allowance of the welt and centralise it. You may want to add some pins just to hold it in place. Now turn the work over, fold the top piece back and you can see the seam allowance. You're going to stitch at the same point between that you stitched in the first place, just to hold the pocket bag down. You see the point? You don't want to catch the body. You just want to stitch on the seam allowance. Again, use the foot to guide you. You want to clip into the corners, taking care not to cut the stitching.
Now turn the pocket bag down and fold out the side pieces. You will see that where you've clipped it, it will lie flat against the seam allowance of the welt. Turn the work over, fold the body back, and you can stitch down the seam allowances. Now the end of pocket bag is inserted. We're going to put the top pocket bag on top now. Line it up to the under pocket bag, making sure that the side seams are matching. Pin in place. You can see from the right side that you've got a back in now which fills in that hole on the side seam. We're going to attach the top pocket bag to the under pocket bag. Again, put the needle down at the corners, lift the foot and turn your work. pocket is now complete, but we just want to fasten the sides down to make it easier to work the side seam later on. It's also a good idea to overlock these edges. This gives you the choice of inserting them in the seams or not when you come to finish off the garment. Now put a stay stitch down the side seams about half a centimetre away from the raw edge. This is just to hold the edges together while you work on the rest of the garment. That's from the inside, and that's the outside of the garment. Now you can carry on with the rest of your garments.